hi everyone in this video we will introduce what is a wave analyzer and harmonic distortion analyzer so what do you mean by wave analyzer what do you mean by analyzer it analyzes something it analyzes something here wave analyzer analyzes the amplitude of a selected waveform suppose 10 number of waveforms are there in your uh, signal all these 10 number of in your circuit all these for all these 10 number of signals you are selecting a particular frequency signal that amplitude is going to be measured by using wave analyzer okay so wave analyzer the purpose of wave analyzer is to measure the amplitude amplitude of selected waveform amplitude of selected waveform how amplitude of a selected waveform is going to be measured that we will see later but what it will do it will select a particular signal that signals amplitude is going to be measured with this by this wave analyzer second one is harmonic distortion analyzer harmonic distortion analyzer it is also another type of analyzer what do you mean by harmonic distortion it measures the what is the total number of harmonic distortion present in the signal okay if you have if you have a gaussian filter or any type of uh, frequency spectrums in that along with that fundamental frequency several harmonic components will also present in that what is the total number of harmonics present in the signal that we can measure by using harmonic distortion analyzer okay so let us see the definitions of wave analyzer and harmonic distortion analyzer individually so a wave analyzer is nothing but a device or an instrument designed to measure relative amplitude of signal frequency components in a complex waveform okay why why i have termed it as a complex waveform okay any type of waveform not only a complex waveform any type of waveform complex waveform means a frequency response signal or a mixing signal which consists of distortions harmonic distortion and the fundamental frequency component if the any signal is having both of these parameters then we can call it as a complex waveform what type of waveform it is a waveform that consists of fundamental frequency component fundamental frequency component plus harmonics 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 are generally unwanted signals so because of this some distortion is there in the signal so if any signal is having both of these fundamental frequency component and harmonics then we can call it as simply a complex waveform such type of waveforms for such type of waveforms the amplitudes are going to be calculated by using this wave analyzer so wave analyzers are also referred to as frequency selective voltmeters okay till now i have what i have explained we are selecting a particular frequency component among n number of frequency components we are selecting a particular frequency component in all uh, for this frequency selected signal amplitude is going to be measured so we can also call it as frequency selective voltmeter frequency selective voltmeter c that is this uh, frequency selective voltmeter frequency selective voltmeter we are selecting the particular frequency component and it is used to measure the amplitude nothing but voltage so we can call it as a voltmeter okay carrier frequency voltmeter and selective level voltmeter so different names are there for this wave analyzer uh, frequency selective voltmeter or carrier frequency voltmeter carrier frequency voltmeter or it can be selective level voltmeter okay so what do you mean by harmonic distortion analyzer harmonic distortion analyzer what do you mean by harmonic distortion analyzer in the complete complex waveform along with the fundamental frequency component several harmonic components are also present what is the total amount of distortion present in the signal so any complex waveform is made up of fundamental and its harmonics what i said earlier a harmonic distortion analyzer measures the total harmonic content present in the waveform see consider a gaussian filter response like this a gaussian filter response okay now in this gaussian filter in this frequency response 
it is the fundamental frequency component f1 it is the fundamental frequency component f1 where our original information is present original information is present okay and this frequency is f2 and this frequency is f3 and this frequency is f4 and so on fn so on x axis we have frequency it is a frequency response <laughs> now among all these frequency components if it is the what it is now this is the fundamental component understand fundamental component what are all these all these are harmonics nothing but unwanted signals <laughs> now how many frequency components are there n number of frequency components n number of frequency components now among these n number of frequency components what a wave analyzer will do is it selects a particular frequency component like f3 for example f3 okay or simply you can say a frequency component f i where i varies from 0 to n i varies belongs to 0 to n so for this selected frequency component you are asked to find the amplitude of this particular waveform f i <laughs> okay suppose for example if you have taken f3 where is f3 here only this is the f3 for this f3 what is the frequency from here to here what is the frequency that can be selected by selecting particular frequency and thereby passing through the voltmeter it gives the amplitude okay this is what a uh, normally wave analyzer will do second one is harmonic distortion analyzer so in the case of harmonic distortion analyzer here also we will consider the fundamental uh, what is that uh, a complex waveform so complex waveform consists of both of these fundamental and as well as harmonics here we no need to work with fundamental component we will only work with the harmonic distortion so what is the total amount of harmonic distortion from here to here this is the harmonic distortion other than this fundamental frequency component whatever the frequency components present in the signal they are called as harmonic components so now this distortion can be calculated as total distortion d is equal to square root of d2 square plus d3 square plus d4 square plus and so on plus dn square for n number of harmonic components this is the formula of distortion distortion okay so distortion total distortion d is equal to d2 square plus d3 square plus and so on dn square under root what about d1 then d1 is the distortion due to fundamental d1 is the distortion due to fundamental frequency component actually there is no distortion due to fundamental frequency component if at all any distortion is present that is a very minor thing we no need to work uh, we no need to worry about that fundamental frequency components distortion so we will simply leave it ignore it so from f2 onwards we generally focus on the harmonics <laughs> now from the definition of wave analyzer how the uh, a frequency component is going to be selected and amplitude is going to be measured we will see in a circuit diagram so this is the basic wave analyzer how it is going to be operated we will see see this is the basic wave analyzer here it is the input we are giving input may be any type of complex waveform any complex waveform what do you mean by a complex waveform what i said it consists of fundamental component plus harmonics okay so if any waveform consists of both of these parameters we can simply call it as complex waveform now such type of signal we are giving at the input of this filter <coughs> what is this filter by seeing this diagram you may name it as a transformer you may name it as transformer but it is not only a transformer it, it can also be worked as a filter see it is the capacitor followed by 
inductor nothing but l into c l into c so what is the frequency of this what is the outcome frequency of this f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc so depending upon the values of l and c the frequency is going to be selected the frequency is going to be selected suppose i in the previous example i said i want f3 frequency i want f3 frequency so in order to get this f3 we are selecting the capacitor or inductor values any one of these can be a variable thing so that we can select our required value if the capacitor is a variable that is okay or if the inductor is variable that is also okay if both are variable that is also okay okay so whatever it may be by changing any one of these parameters we can get the required frequency f3 okay once this required frequency we have got then that frequency is transferred to the secondary wave secondary winding <coughs> okay see this is the primary detector this transformer and uh, the capacitor is commonly known as primary detector what is the purpose of primary detector primary detector detects detects the required required frequency or we can also say it is a filter we can also say it is a filter because it eliminates all other frequencies only it, it, it passes the required frequency component on the other side of the transformer hope you understand now okay <coughs> In this complex waveform, at the input of this uh, complete circuit, in this complex waveform, we have several frequency components F1, F2, F3 and so on. Among all these, using this tank circuit like L and C, we are selecting a particular required component, frequency component and that is going to be transferred to the secondary winding. That's why it is known as primary detector. Initially, we are detecting the required frequency component and eliminating all other unwanted signals. <coughs> now, I told you already, for this F3, what do we need to do? For this F3 means we have selected a required frequency component. We need to measure amplitude. Listen carefully, we need to measure amplitude here. See, what is the signal it is? It is an EAC signal. But for the measurement of amplitude, what we are using? A voltmeter. What type of voltmeter we need to use? A AC voltmeter. Okay. It is an AC signal and we are measuring the amplitude, nothing but volt, voltage. So that's why it is a AC voltmeter. So AC voltmeter diagram already we have studied in the meters concept. So this is the full wave rectifier followed by a meter. Full wave rectifier is nothing but used to convert that AC to DC value. So this VDC will come after converting the AC to DC. VDC will come and measured in this indicating device. Nothing but D R Sonval meter. D R Sonval meter or basic meter or PMMC meter, whatever it is. Here it is given as indicating meter, which is nothing but nothing but a voltmeter. Okay, this is what the basic wave analyzer uh, circuit diagram and how it works. Okay, so totally it has. Uh, Three things, one is primary detector followed by rectifier and followed by indicating device. <laughs> so working of this wave analyzer, the same concepts of what we have, uh, what I have explained now. The analyzer consists of primary detector which is a simple LC network. The LC circuit is adjusted to a resonant or at a frequency with <coughs> of the particular harmonic component to be measured. It passes only the frequency to which it is tuned and provides high attenuation to all other frequencies that is what i said it's a filter it selects the required frequency component and eliminates all other unwanted signals a full wave rectifier is used to get the average value of the input here you can say average value or dc value okay here you can say average value or dc value but for full wave rectifier average value equal to dc value <coughs> the indicating device is a simple DC voltmeter that is calibrated to read the peak or value of sinusoidal input voltage. Okay, where we can use these wave analyzers, applications of wave analyzers. One, we can use as a electrical measurements, 
and sound measurements and vibration measurements in any one of these applications we are using these wave analyzers we are using these wave analyzers okay in the next video we will see what a harmonic distortion analyzer and frequency selective wave analyzer such concepts thank you